There's something about an island of body of water. It creates a special kind of dreamer because they did not know where they came from in Africa. They dreamed of the whole of it, bring it all together in one piece. The seeds of Pan-Africanism planted in the United States during slavery years later flourish in the fertile soil of the British West Indies. Trinidad produced the three greatest Pan-Africanists, H. Sylvester Williams, C.L.R. James, and George Padmore. In Trinidad, they found, found the Pan-African League. H. Sylvester Williams would eventually call it Pan-African. He would call a conference in London in 1900 a few scattered Africans, a few people from the Caribbean, W. Du Bois from the United States. They did not ask for the in independence of African states then. They asked for preparation, give us the kind of education that will prepare us for eventual independence. They were reasonable, but they weren't listened to. And yet the conference made some kind of impression. After the first Congress, Du Bois would be the leading light from the second through fourth. But the most meaningful, the one that Du Bois called in Paris, as a result of this Congress, Du Bois came to center stage as the leader and theoretician of Pan-Africanism.